and uh, and organic matter will follow that. Speak to the mic. Slide okay. Away. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, representing uh, Gulf of Alaska, where I just got off the water like uh, 36 hours ago. So uh, site news, uh, we had our synthesis group uh, funded uh, across the marine sites, the pelagic marine sites. We just submitted our renewal proposal. We've had some shuffling of PIs and uh, overall we've increased the participation from uh, early career members in the core team, uh, this proposal. Let's see. Uh, in terms of spatial scaling, I want to point out that our domain is absolutely huge. Uh, we are small on the scale of Alaska, but large on the scales you normally think of. Our study domain down in the lower left, I put Washington State on the same scale. So we're covering a huge area with a limited number of observation points. Uh, it spans from tidewater glaciers and coastal fjords to deep ocean basins, so we have a lot of environmental gradients. Uh, it is very heterogeneous, heterogeneous uh, uh, spatially. There are lots of patches, lots of gradients. Uh, and the cruise and station-based approach limits our ability to resolve these finer scales. Uh, of course, we always think that satellites are going to solve some of these problems. And in an ideal situation, it does, and it shows the incredible complexity in this habitat. Uh, we use multiple approaches to get at scales. We use modeling approaches, which get us at a lot of the spatial and temporal scales we can't measure. Uh, we use uh, in situ instrumentation, uh, examples uh, uh, such as our, our big tow body up in the upper corner, a smaller system we started with. And we use uh, gliders, underwater robots that go out and create sample transects when we can't be there. And uh, come back again to satellites. Uh, the problem is each of these approaches has its limitations at uh, various limitations, trying to understand spatial scales. Uh, challenges. Um, models have a lot of long-term development involved in them. They're not something you just plug in and you've got operational in the site. Uh, satellites require new expertise. I took that wonderful satellite picture. This is the satellite coverage we have from our last uh, 18 days at sea. Uh, we have, this is during the spring bloom. There's obviously light getting through that stimulates our system, none of which is really adequately covered by satellite imagery. Uh, towed platforms, such as the biggest one we're using now, are expensive. They require a lot of injection of funds to become operational. I'll say we went through a lot of skepticism that they would be practical, provide adequate information across all the trophic levels. When you're using a tow body, you're doing that in lieu of stopping to do traditional base sampling at sea. Uh, and there is a lot of uncertainty in whether we can automate classification of the imagery through that to provide species level and these ecologically relevant parts of the equation, not simply the physics. This is an ecological research program, not physical oceanography. And finally, although gliders are a great solution for filling in a survey and transect basis, they're limited in what they can measure, and they also have real operational costs. Somebody has to pilot them, keep them safe 24-7 and somebody has to pick them up. Uh, impacts, uh, new tools, of course, provide new questions. Uh, these are examples of the data that's just come out of our lead, uh, new tow body system, where we can measure physics at high resolution. We can measure things like chlorophyll concentration, phytoplankton, and we can actually see patterns emerging in the zooplankton distribution in the lowest panel and showing the matchup between these different parameters. Uh, they are creating uh, uh, sharing of the tools between sites. CCE is interested in using our new tow body collaboration across projects as a result. Uh, and personally, I found it somewhat exciting and also disappointing at the same time that watching the kind of spatial scales that these tools capture really makes one wonder whether the old fashioned approaches uh, are adequately capturing or even representing the means and averages in this system due to the high uh, vertical and horizontal patchiness we see in this system. 
under five minutes. Here we go.